Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we discuss natin yung mga gagawin at dapat gawin after mo ng 12 months OBT or OJT. Especially regarding sa BS natin or yung last step to get our diploma on Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation. So let's go. So first things first, after mo bumaba, you must check the validity of your certificates, COP, or any documents na may expiry. Lalo na sa ating mga decadence. For example, yung ating certificate na PSCRB, hindi naman siya kailangan natin COP bago sumampa. So after natin bumaba, um, ipas-COP na natin para hindi na natin kailangan mag-take ng full course for another certificate kasi nga expired na. So, ganun. Now, let's proceed sa ating main topic, which is yung process ng ating BS. So, first in the line is the requirements. Every school have may have their own requirements. So, if di nyo alam, you must go to your school first para kumuha ng list of requirements. But sa school ko, these are the requirements. Requirements. First is daily journal. At least 180 days or 6 months. Nakalagay yan sa CHED Memorandum Order Number 2, Series of 2012, Article Number 2. Now, we need at least 6 months of which shall involve the performance of which was given duties under the supervision of Master and Duty Officer. Sa amin, ipapasa yung original copies plus photocopy of the first week. Second is the passport. Bali, ipapasa yung photocopy only ng all entries sa passport and syempre na sa aming first page yung may mukha natin. Same as the passport, yung ating Siemens book, kailangan din na photocopy ng all entries and the first page. Next is yung sea service. Bali, may two kinds of sea service na kailangan nila. One from the company and one from Ched Marina. And make sure naka-photocopy and naka-notarize. Next is crew list. Ito, make sure na yung crew list na dala nyo is may mga crew changes because yung mga school natin is kailangan nila ma-verify yung crew especially dun sa mga tao nakapirma sa ating mga documents such as journals and evaluations. And I don't know sa ibang school pero sa amin is pati crew list is need ipanotarize. Next is one by one ID picture wearing Black Liberty on my experience nilalagay nila yung pictures dun sa mga slip or papers na they need habang nagpa-process ng BS. Next is performance evaluation and cadet evaluation form. Before going sa work ko, um, bibigyan tayo ng papel or form which is about evaluation. And that, i-evaluate tayo ng qualified officer natin the whole stay natin sa work ko. Next is picture on board, three or size. Bali, ganito yung sa akin. Um, any picture of you na nasa bridge ka and mas maganda siguro kung working or naka-uniform. Lastly, and I think importante is yung TRB. We need to pass yung mismong TRB and make sure may photocopy ka each pages ng my signs or any sulat from the barco. After complying these requirements, go again to your school and then pass. Bali, iti-check nila yan if okay ka na for the series of assessments and examination. Next is the BS Assessments. Assessment. The very first step is the written or online examination. So it depends on your school kung anong mode yung gagamitin nila for your examination. Sa amin kasi via computer. For the examination, it is categorized by functions, navigation, cargo handling and storage, controlling the safe operations and care for persons on board, Bale, it's like a normal examination but this time it's more advanced na since we go on board and the questions are more technical and more on the things that we did on board. Second is yung oral examination. Bali, ito yung naka-upload sa TikTok ko wherein I recorded the highlights of my answers. We use, sometimes we do host tests and another one is the chalk test wherein in hostess, we splash waters on the hinges and uh, intersections of the hatch covers. And if another one is chalkers, we put chalks on the combings. So when the chalk appears on the rubber, that's which means it has no readings. 
naka-categorize din yung mga questions by functions. And I think nakadepende din sa assessor yung questions. Bali, wala siyang fixed question but mayroon siyang fixed topics kasi nga by functions. Bali, may mga fixed topics dun sa mga functions na yan and the assessor will construct a questions related or regarding to that topic. Example of that is about first aid. Anong gagawin mo if may burn or may na injured or any accident? The assessor will test your knowledge about safety, cargo operation, navigation, and even will test your math skills. Kasi sa akin, pinagkumpute ako ng ETA, but basic ETA lang naman siya kasi bawal gumamit ng calculator, so yan. May mga questions pa about marble, what are the signs of oil spills, what are the maintenance to maintain the seaworthiness of the vessel, mga ganun. On my estimation, parang by functions, it's like 8 to 15 questions. So, be ready. Last is the simulation. Naka-upload din siya sa TikTok account ko if you want to watch. Bali dun sa simulation, bibigyan kayo ng assessor nyo ng role sa bridge team. On my TikTok account, I was the master that time or the overall command while channeling. So, ako yung nagde-decide kung saan dadaan, anong speed, or and so on. Me having the overall command during channeling. Heading! Heading! Target sided. Decision making. Fourteen. Fourteen. Bali, may assigned master, may assigned helmsman, may lookout, and navigating officer. If you want an idea about that simulation, visit my TikTok account, Cadet Z. So that's it. After that, you will wait for another month for the release of your documents as a graduate of the course. The CAV on POR with SO number which is really important para makapag-exam for licensure exam of OICNW or the officers in charge on navigational watch. So that's all for this video. I hope you learned something and please do subscribe for my next videos. Thank you. Bye.